thanks for joining me today this is just a simple watercolour of um, Thirlmere in the Lake District just a very simple scene big lake plenty of trees in the background just a simple foreground tree uh, see the colours running across the bottom of the screen for those of you who want to paint along but raw sienna ultramarine this is raw sienna put it on now no, no particular pattern so just put it on randomly this is uh, ultramarine going on now again this is just where you can see the sky through the, the clouds again in no particular order it just put it on randomly I'm using a, a large two inch height brush to do this I use it for most of my paintings it's let you get on with it I might put a little bit too much water on so I'm just uh, drying it slightly with the, the hair dryer not, not totally because I want to be able to put some uh, misty hills in the background keep the I like to keep the background a bit misty and you can only do that as long as the uh, the, the, the paper is still wet so using the the sky colors on the large hike I'm just put, gently putting in the uh, these are the background trees no real detail the further away something is the less detail you have just the gen get, I'm just putting in the general colour just making it stronger the closer the closer the trees are the, the, the stronger the paint just using the corner of the brush to indicate some, some of the trees on the uh, far shoreline all very loose just adding some raw sienna and then this is just the uh, the foreground shore I'm just uh, refixing the paper. When you when you wet the watercolour paper, it tends to stretch slightly. So I'll just use ball dog clips on the four corners. Just pull it tight and refix it. This is a quick sweep across. Now this is uh, the, the reflection of the distant of the the far trees into the water yeah, you, don't have to, you don't have to be too accurate if you do it while the pipe is still wet as well it just it just blends nicely into the into the pipe just now to break up the uh, the distant shoreline from the water I'm, I'm just darkening the the river banks Most of these mixes are lemon yellow, pines grey and ultramarine. Now I'm going to put in a foreground tree, again no 
no real detail just bash it in with the height brush just try and vary the trying to vary the colour a little bit and just use his finger now just to scrape in the trunks and some branches but I'm trying it's, it's hard not to overdo this If you do go mad and over, just you can just paint straight over them with uh, some some thicker paints like this. This is the foreground going in now. Again, just sim simple sweep. That's mainly raw sienna. Raw sienna with bits of pines grey and ultramarine, just just varying the mix a bit, just to try and make it more interesting. Just keeping it very simple. Again, just using the finger now. Just to put in some foreground grasses. And just using the hike, just just flick up slightly with the hike, and you you can get in some nice reed effects by the water's edge. Follow it up with some flicks again with your finger now. I got a bit. I'm getting pretty close to overdoing that that foreground area now. I got to calm down a bit. A few more flicks with the hike. And we're pretty much there. Just dry it all again with the uh, hair dryer. I think all that's left to do now is put the put the signature on using the number three rigger. And there we go. If we look at the original, you can you can see how I've just kept it very very simple. It's just a loose impression of Thirlmere in the Lake District. Thanks for watching. I hope you can join me again sometime. Cheers.